I'm gonna give it a, a cutscene. I'm not giving it. I'm a no cutscenes run. I'm gonna try to get a dank PB. Let's fucking go. Ready? Luckily, I know roughly the time for cutscenes. Hey, Cuddles, how's it going? I'm running this back for you, everyone. For you, the viewers at home. How's it going, Ashes? And welcome, everyone. Yes, I'm still live from last night. We keep giraffe mode on, because it's funny and people enjoy it. Ms. Nix, I know how you like giraffe mode, so enjoy giraffe mode. In this emulation? No, I unfortunately paid money for this game, uh, Quezzer. Uh, you can actually see the box right here, and it's really unfortunate. I actually spent, I think, like 20 bucks on this game. So if you're wondering what exactly is this game, it is a licensed video game based on the Crow City of Angels, which isn't the good game. The best kick in the game is the roundhouse. $20 too much? Roughly about. I'm going to submit this to speedrun.com, and I'm going to become the only runner of this game. Hopefully not the only runner of this game. I would actually like more runners, because I run a lot of terrible games. If you're wondering why, I like many games. Hell, today we've only done terrible games. What do we do? Anyone do me a favor and hit exclamation mark games? Technically, after this run, too, I do have an offer to do Sound Hall the Arcade, but I made that like a minor sub-incentive thing. God. Thank you for the follow. Because Sound Hall the Arcade's also a shitty game, and I have a record in that one. It's really dumb. Correct. Do I allow MU? Uh, honestly, PlayStation 1 emulation is pretty accurate, so I'd allow it. Like, I haven't even made a leaderboard yet. I want to make one. Also, you're going to be hearing Bruh, Hey Clownface, and a few other things. Quite a lot. God. Maybe. You. This game also came out apparently on the Sega Saturn hey, and the PlayStation 1. I don't know anything about the Saturn version. I get this game accepted. I'm going to submit to AGDQ 2022. And that's my plan for this game. Because I got the mummy which is my other trash game into this event. I also got Haunting Ground, which is actually really good. Like, I actually like Haunting Ground. The next one they die? <laughs> I mean, they're trying their best. Hey, clown face. Also, again, be prepared to hear Hey Clownface a lot. Oh, he's behind me. What the fuck? Please, game. And yes, Cuddles. Also, I found out how to do the game without giraffe mode, or with giraffe mode. That was in Cruxy. This console does not handle animated backgrounds? Good question. Are they playing on Shadow Man? I am aware of the series and I imagine it's pretty decent, but I've never played it myself really. I played a bit of Shadow Man 2. And that's about it. Everything in this game is a time loss, Damon, trust me. Everything in this game is time loss. <laughs> playing this game is time loss. Hey, God, is this music just grunting? Like, hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> yeah, it's mo you know it's Mola mode. God, look at that kick. That's a spicy fucking kick. There was a Shadow Man too. The best strategy is to wait, and then kick. If you're wondering why the roundhouse works so well, it's because you can hit multiple enemies at once, and they kind of just walk into it. It's also really hard to block. There we go. Because I turned on giraffe mode. Because giraffe mode's a funny way of running this game, and it makes people laugh. I mainly do giraffe mode because Miss Nix really likes this mode, and she's the main supporter of this game, so. We keep on giraffe mode until the tower, because funny enough, and fun fact everyone, this game is a piece of shit, and I mean that in more ways than one. So if I have giraffe mode turned on on a certain level, the game will crash. Uh, what happens is that means I need to reset my PlayStation 2. I don't think I've ever had a game crash on an actual console. I'm wondering what genre this game is. It's a crime against humanity. That is the genre. I'm playing on a PlayStation 2, because I use backwards compatible stuff. And most PlayStation 2s can play PlayStation 1 games. And I just really like the PlayStation 2. Technically, fast disk speed can also work for this. Well, hey, fun fact. The people who developed NBA Jam apparently also developed this game. Also, a Magic the Gathering game, Space Jam the video game, which I didn't even know had a video game. I guess it does, though. God. Flip. Also, there is a flip that makes you invulnerable. The only way to know how to do it is if you find out. I do it by double tapping backward on the D-pad. That is how I do it. 
There we go. Roughly without the cutscenes, this game's probably like a solid 50 minutes. Why did you buy this, Susanna? Why did you buy this? I don't know why anyone would buy this game. I bought it because uh, I had a friend recommend it to me. And now I'm only running it because I want to honor that friend because he has passed away since then. And that was my main motivation for running this game. I actually tried learning it like months back and god it was fucking awful. By the way, I haven't mentioned this yet. Not only is this game roundhouse kicks, this game has guns. And if you get a gun, you save a lot of the time. Oh yeah, Princess Kira, I know a bunch of shitty games. It kind of became a weird specialty for me. Like, let's see, during this marathon we did the Ring Terror's Realm. Are there monkeys in the music? Honestly, I I, I don't know. Maybe. At this point, I believe it. It sounds that way. Uh, but we did Night Cry, we did the Ring, we did Juon on the Wii. There's a lot of games people don't know exist, but they do. If you don't believe me, by the way, pick this out. Oh god, I dropped my controller. Check this out. Juon, it exists. Wait, you bought this for five pounds? You got a better price than I did. I paid like 20 bucks for this game. I mean, I got the case, I suppose. Also, here's the ska band guys. They're wearing like a Hawaiian shirt and like jorts. I don't know why, but they are. They just really like the jorts. It's kind of odd. Also, if you're wondering where- oh shit, that's just a sp I don't split yet. Maybe I do split yet. I keep forgetting where to split, by the way. Alright, we gotta wait for him. How's it going, Lacey? Hope you're doing good. God, please die. I'm glad you're enjoying this game so far. It was in the junk section, but why? I'm more surprised they found this game. Like, this game was surprisingly harder to find than I thought it would be. Hell, I actually have some weird games I want to play soonish. What's in the long nest? Oh, try not. We activated giraffe mode. That is the long necks. Look at that reverse kick. Didn't expect it. Well, clearly he's a ska band member. Chat, if you listen to ska, you will, uh. You will grow a very long neck. Play Fight Club? God, I don't know the actual worst game I've ever played. It's hard to say. This game's certainly up there, though. But I kind of like, I guess, Kuso. So I can't really complain about this game. Oh, yeah. Hey, we got the oh yeahs, we're finally here. Exactly, average genius. We have oh yeah. Enjoy while you can, because they go away eventually. Three, four. You would think. You would think. Mr. Krabs? Practically, right? I don't know why they keep saying eat steel, by the way. I thought, I thought that originally they were saying eat veal, but I guess it's eat steel. How's it going, no broat? Hope you're doing good, no broatski. So, obviously I have been hinting at something here. So this game doesn't only rely on the roundhouse, it's just really good for right now. Ideally, on certain parts of the game, I'm going to want to get a gun. Because the gun will instantly shred most enemies in me too. So it's just kind of the way the game goes. Oh, yeah. Also, I love these dudes just saying, oh yeah. Oh, veal? I think they're saying each steel just very oddly, but it sounds like they're saying eat veal. Oh well, yeah, that's I'm assuming the steel pipe weapon. Wait, you're not dead? Wait, I can grab people? What? I've never grabbed anyone. That's the first time I've ever grabbed someone. I didn't know I could do that. Huh. Well, I learned new tech. Badass. Was it good? Not really, but I learned it. Mainly because the roundhouse is so good. Like, there's no point in using any other kick in the game. Kick sound? You really gotta love it. Also, I really wish that in my own life, I had crows just telling me where to go. Can you imagine how much better life would be whenever you got lost, a, a flaming crow just summoned on the ground and pointed you in the right direction? This game certainly existed. I wish I could tell you when this game came out. Oh, I should punch more. God damn, that's actually... Close quarters combat's really good with the punch, actually. 
I should do that. I should do that. 97? Thank you, uh, Frentanel. Thank you. 1997. This game's one year younger than Resident Evil 1. God damn. Also, here's a fun strategy. You can actually hide behind some of the dudes, and they'll shoot each other. If you want to dodge bullets, you just duck. Initial record pace? Yes, actually. Because I'm the only active runner of this game, because I'm the only one dumb enough to do it. Also, look at the speed he squats. He's just destroying his legs. Also, we have a gun. Guess what gun does? Gun will instantly kill dudes. No, this is one year after Resident Evil, yeah. So this would be one year younger than Resident Evil. Guns are really good. The problem is guns are also really good on enemies. So if they get guns, you're just kind of fucked. Now, but what, I bet you're wondering, what happens if you run out of ammo? Because <laughs> you can run out of ammo, and I can't wait to show you. Let me just kill this guy first. Also, I like how we're above the health bars. So if you run out of ammo, what happens is you can throw the gun, and it blows up. Need some other giraffe necks? No. Also, here's a speedrun skip I found. You can turn and flip. And you can go over those boxes. There we go. Thank God. And the cheats in this game are tending to just be, like, level codes, and it's kind of weird because cheats aren't actually cheats. Alright, time to beat them down. Why is everything exploding in this game? <laughs> it's a very volatile environment here. We're just gonna keep kicking them. Alright, there we go. We got it going. We there we go. This is why you want the roundhouse. Walk into this. And dead. Badass. Can, can you grab the gun? Thank you. So, but you're wondering, what gun did I grab? Uh, I'll show you. This is the strongest weapon in the game, and you can get it a few times throughout the game. Alright, now I can move. Oh, we turned on giraffe mode work. You know, just the casual giraffe mode that one does. I honestly firmly believe every single game in existence can be improved if you put a giraffe mode in it. Just just imagine giraffe mode in video games. It'd be perfect. So here's what this gun does. Also, here's a mechanic you'll only see once. He jumps 10 feet in the air. This is the only time you deal with this mechanic in the entire game. I'm not sure why. The whole point is just to move right and left between these poles to avoid the electricity. However, uh, it's really bad. And it's supposed to be a rocket launcher in particular, and it has homing rockets. <laughs> the rockets are also really bad, and sometimes they'll just kind of circle a target, but if they hit someone, they'll instantly go. You're sold? I'm glad. I'm glad. Is that Skytso? I'm glad. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention, if you fall down for any reason, your gun will blow up. The guns are the most fragile shit in this game. If anything makes you fall down, you drop your gun. I'll check this out. Whoosh. That's a combo right there. Oh yeah. Well, every guy, every like enemy in the game has the dialogue. Like earlier, you had a lot of hey clown face. This area is a lot of oh yeah. Also, the crow just keeps saying bruh for some reason every now and again, and I'm not sure why. Eat veal. These guys are the eat veals, guys. Also, even dumber. 
Um, no, this isn't Brandon Lee. This is supposed to be the guy in the sequel. There can only be two enemies on the screen at a time. So I'll just see them randomly spawn in when it's supposed to be like waves. I guess it's just kind of the way the game works. I'm not sure why there's only two enemies allowed on time. Yep, the, the movie's all just guys quoting, oh yeah, and bruh. Th that's the whole movie, drones. That's the whole movie right there. And the all the fight scenes are just one guy throwing a roundhouse for like an hour and a half. That is the entire fight. Just this. There we go. They're dead. And also, they all drop the perfect mask we need to heal. Perfect. Well, yeah, they all. Well, it only has giraffe necks if you turned on giraffe mode on your DVD player. You have to understand that's just how it works. You have to turn on giraffe mode on the DVD player. Oh yeah. By the way, like I mentioned, guns are overpowered. Eat deal. Hold on. I'm out of ammo. Wait a minute. God damn it. Well, I tried. At least I didn't let them get the gun. Please die. So if you're wondering, they can't shoot my giraffe neck. If I duck down, it's impossible to hit me with a gun. The only gun that can hit you if you're ducked down is the, uh... <laughs> the grenade launcher. Oh, God. His neck! Also, I like how he's bouncing in the squat. Here we go, they're back in action. You out of bullets yet? Come on. Please be out of bullets. Thank you. Now come here, get your- oh my god, no, come back here, come back here. Dead. I like how the roundhouse is deadlier than a sword. Just goes to show kind of house we're living in. You know, I believe it does. In all honesty, I believe it. Eat veal. Oh, yeah. Eat veal in the oh yeah crowd. The best part is there's still things in this game you haven't even seen yet that are much better and or worse. I'm not really wondering how can it get much better than the double... Ah... Uh, I guess the murder, the murder spinning kick. I'm really glad I just walk into it. I'm like, I'm losing time for my last run, by the way. The one where I watched cutscenes somehow. All right, we're almost at the end of the level and then we get to go to the boss fight. This game has boss fights, by the way. And fun fact about the boss fights, you're not allowed to take weapons in there. So it's hand-to-hand -hand combat, with however much health you have left. Please. Please. Walk into this. Give me the mask. Here's Spider Monkey. Hand-to-hand -hand or foot-to-foot? -foot? Yes. Here's the spider monkey fight. Also, this is the only time in the game you'll be doing kung fu moves. And also, you're not allowed to run anymore during these fights for yeah. some reason. <laughs> Enjoy Angelito. Really, this is actually one of the hardest fights in the game. And also, we do get to do cock and ball torture by stepping on his dick. Alright, we got a good spot. We got a good spot. Ideally, you want the enemies to walk into your roundhouse. Uh, and by doing that, they will die. It is the best strategy in the game, by far. Sometimes that happens. We turned on giraffe mode, Dranko. God. Dude, he's hitting me with that, uh, that handstand kick.
Yes, this is the actual best strategy in the game for fighting, by the way. There's no better strategy than just roundhousing and occasionally getting this and then the stomp. Apparently there's crow powers in this game, but I've never been able to use them. Please die. Dude, I'm having a terrible spider monkey fight. Come here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Alright, flip. He's dead. We did it. He's dead. It's basically God Hand? More like God Foot Heaven Smile. It's wildly inconsistent on the strategy, but believe me, it's the best way of going. Also, I have a lot of deaths coming up, so if I just don't die, we have a lot of time save. And that's all I have to do. There are apparently these are grenades, but they look like skulls. Also, this guy also has a grenade launcher. Because this game hates me. That is the only reason why this guy has a grenade launcher. Anyway, luckily we can just avoid him. I don't know why the skull nades exist. I need that mask, son. Please die. I'm glad you enjoyed that fight right there. It was a beautiful fight. Also, I just saved a massive amount of time. I died here previously. So as long as I don't die in the end of the level, I'm going to be doing very good. This is also the most awkward, most difficult part of the game. Specifically when we get to the church. Hey, clown face. Alright. Thank you, game. Very cool. Thank you for just throwing the mall top. Don't beat me like that. The giraffe? Dude, the giraffes are teaming up together. They're working in tandem. I do like how they never see this attack coming, by the way. Just the crouch into... Ass beating. Okay. See, they don't see it coming, ever. Oh my god. Everything in this game explodes. The guns, the skulls, the molotovs. Hell, later in the game we'll have living bodies that just blow up on impact. I don't know why. <laughs> Hell, the final boss blows up before he even dies. It, it, like, not when he dies, dies, and you kill him. Like, before the boss fight, he just blows up for some reason. I don't know why. Hey, clown face. I hope you enjoy Hey, Clown Face, by the way. It gets repeated a lot during this game. Another reason why this game is amazing. I just want to mention, there is 800-something people watching the fucking crow. And I don't know if that's great or depressing. Oh, my neck. I like Master Shake, beating ass, or fill with drink. Wow. Thank you, game. Very cool. Let me out, please. Let me out. Thank you. Kids need to see it? They do. I agree. This is only this game to GDQ. Crow Wicked Prayer is zero. How do you get zero percent on Rotten Tomatoes is my question. Alright, come here now. This is how gunfights work. You stand up, shoot. Oh, wow, he hit me in midair. Come back here, come on, come on. God, I'm whipping it. Please die, you need to be dead, you have a gun. Thank you. Please die. Please die. I need you dead. Oh, 
He might be? It's hard for me to say with this section. Alright, I'm out of the corner. We did it. Alright, now we're back into action. This game has two modes. Ass beating and... I guess ass... Well, I guess it's just ass beating all around. And I guess it just depends whose ass we're talking about. Ideally, we want theirs beat, not ours. But you know how this game goes sometimes. Also, I think that is the tomb. I am aware of that game, Quizzer. I never played it. <laughs> yeah, cool. That was a little split. So luckily, we get to avoid guns for a little bit. But now we get uh, the grave. On your knees. Oh, he's saying on your knees. That's what he's saying. All for these guys. All right, now I get to kill a bunch of dudes. Also, I don't know why these people have power buttons on the back of their shirts, but they do. Yeah, this run is massively unoptimized, because shockingly enough, I only have one complete... Wow, he just blew up. Cool. He threw a grenade at that guy. That's unfortunate. Well, for him. Not for me. Oh, there we go. Back in action. Keep kicking. And I do need health, though, so let's try getting this. Alright, good. Did you drop anything? You did not. And I do need these guys dead, too. This is also why we don't use weapons. They're really difficult and hard to use. Just keep kicking. You can also throw things, which isn't bad. God. I love the slow-moving, like, little jog you have to do. Now these guys, uh, they're gonna come up with us with weapons. That's not good. We can just kick them. I think we're in a good spot. Let's jump back a bit. Yeah, I don't know why this game features the, the scooting so strong. Oh, here we go. This game gets immediately easier once you can get into kicking range. Okay, and I should be getting a little bit more health in a moment. One of the hardest parts of this run is going to be a part where there's going to be a bunch of dudes with guns. And yes, it is Unlucky Maker. This is a giraffe human game. Pretty great if you ask me. I don't know why they want me on my knees, but they do. They're very lewd dudes. Also, this is the most awkward hallway to go into in the game. For some reason, you have to go at it just the right angle. If you don't, you can't make it in. I don't know why, it just... Well, I can tell you why, actually. It's a very poorly programmed game. Sacrifice on your knees. Sacrifice. God, my gun blew up. Fuck. Right. Thank you for being close enough. Okay, please die to the kick. <laughs> please just die to the chest bump. Okay, now we're back in action. Alright, duck. Alright, come here. Walk closer. Walk closer. Oh, come back here. Yeah. Oh god, he's getting ammo. Sacrifice. Shit. God, they are so good at bugging the shit out of me like that. I think we got it? Yes! Okay, dead. And this guy we can stomp in the dick. We're almost done with this level. Sorry, what? Good question. I guess us. If you're wondering how am I losing so much time, I had a gun here last time. Getting guns is a lot of time save. Which I have a gun right here I can use. Oh, fuck, he kicked me out. Luckily for us, we have rocket la or grenade launcher. Nice. Nice. Fuck! As long as I make it to the next checkpoint, I get the church. 
So we should be good as long as we make it. God damn it, stop that. Every time I get a gun, they just immediately... What's that guy doing? Alright, come on. Now you get to eat your own medicine. Thank you. And another duck for safety. Thriller? This game is a big thriller, clearly. Okay, thank you for just knocking me back. Okay, almost there. One more screen and we have a checkpoint. Say if I die, it'll be okay. Come here. Come here. Uh, Fell for the bait. Okay, thank God. All this grunting getting... Don't worry, we have new music, Shaletta. There's background music. Sometimes it's just not very good. Alright, time for the church. So, the church is a hard level because everyone has guns, and this is the worst mechanic in the game that, as you can guess, only shows up once and is really bad. No, oh, we'll be getting a big gold soon if I just don't die here. Sacrifice. God. Oh, my gun! Okay, we're close. Alright, he's beating me to death. We're good. I want him to try to beat me to death. That is ideal. Can you die, though? I need you dead. God. Well, he's beating me to death. Alright, now I don't want to die, please. I died. Fuck. What did Chris Darrell stream? Alright, luckily for us, we have checkpoints. This is why we have to run the church, so we have checkpoints. Alright, hold on. Uh, trim, 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 square, trim, square, 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 square. Shit. Uh... There we go. Person suit with the raid. How was the stream today? Tweeted. Makes sense. Hope you had a good stream. Good for you, by the way. You coming during a load. You came during a horrible time. How is Cyberpunk? This game is all horrible. That's what I mean to say. You don't want to get blocked. You don't want to get blocked. Gotcha. Sacrifice. Oh God, my gun. I'm so sorry to hear about that. I know. Oh God. Well, they blew up their gun. Sacrifice. There we go. So this is what it looks like. Welcome Raiders. If you guys know a person suit, you should. Very nice people. Why is everyone gonna have giraffe next? Okay, so great, great question, pupil. Uh, we turned on giraffe mode. Princess Kira with the tier one. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. I'm glad that you're enjoying this game as well. This game is uh, certainly something. I have all the games that come in for the first time. This is definitely one of them. Normally I do things like clock tower stuff. Uh, which I'm very, um, my main game is the Clock Tower series. Yes, yeah, Sorini, we are. Because I said we would be, uh, we're actually originally I was going to end a bit earlier. Then we got a couple of raids and I felt bad about Melee having a stream end right when I got raided. So we're doing, I was going to do one more, one more uh, run on this game. Because I want to show you guys the worst part of this game and the rest of it. All the parts are bad. That's the, that's the joke. They're all terrible. <laughs> But specifically, the worst part of the game is actually coming up. I know I'm, I'm no joking. Oh, how could it be any worse than what I've been seeing? Trust me. What are the masks? They heal me, uh, Princess Keeney. They heal me. Also, Princess Kira, welcome to the swarm. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. I do hope you're having a wonderful day so far. So the worst part's actually right after this fight. Uh, one of the worst parts. Uh, this is the worst section of the game, but the worst, like, level is Day of the Dead. Which is also coming up after the Ninjutsu Death Bitch. It was one of the funniest fights in the game. Yeah, this is the gra it's supposed to be a graveyard, so you can just use guys' arms as melee weapons. They're not good. Uh, they're very short range. Correct. The actual boss fight coming up is named the Ninjutsu Death Bitch. Let me dive that, by the way.
Flip. God, you gotta love it. How's it going, Camo Gecko? Hope you're doing good. Classic boss name? That is what it says directly on the back of the box. I'm not memeing these names. These are straight up just the names they give me. Okay. So, this is a chandelier platforming section. The way this is going to work is I hold up directional buttons and push square. If you fall, that's what happens. Fuck, I might die. Fuck, I died. So, if you're wondering, where's all my time save? It's here. You get three tries. If you die, guess what? Guess what? I'll give you a hint. Yep. We go back. This is why checkpoints are important. And this is why I allow the use of the, uh, the codes. Oh, we actually got the proper fight. Oh god, my gun. This is the last game this dev released. I'm glad. It's well deserved. Thank you. Oh yeah, absolutely. Gun. Sacrifice. And then just sacrifice. Also, they approach a guy with a gun. It was cancelled. I can only imagine why they would get cancelled games from a studio as good as this. How could they possibly get games cancelled? God, my gun! He blew up my gun. Oh, I blew up his neck, so we're even. They made 25 games? I think that's 25 too many. I feel like they made the Space Jam video game, though, so you ever played that? Well, same developers. I'm not sure why. At least that's what my box tells me. We did it. Alright, there we go. Much better. I think that guy- I know that guy's dead. This guy needs to be dead now. Can I get my li There we go, the roundhouse. Please roundhouse, thank you. Please, oh my god, I, don't, I have two chances on this shit now. God damn it, dude. Fuck, I let go of the button. <laughs> I had it, but I let go of the button. <laughs> oh boy. Oh shit. There we go. I don't know what B.O.B. is. This is why I have so much time saved, by the way. Oh, it is. It really is. If you're wondering how you do it, when you're, when you're grabbing the chandelier, you have to hold square. When you're jumping, you have to hold directional buttons. If you do the other one during the one, you'll let go or fall and die. Every time you fall and die, you lose one whole thing of health. So one whole bar. You have three total before you game over. God. So that's the issue with that. This is probably one of the meanest games I'm aware of. Also, Person Suit. I didn't ask as much yet, but how have you been enjoying Cyberpunk? Oh, we've been having a fun time with it. I've been hearing good things about the game for the most part, outside the bugginess. There we go, look at this. Two and one. That's more like it. 
Can I get out of this camera angle, please? Please, let me out of it. There we go. Sacrifice. Don't knock me down, and then we're good to go. <sighs> Keep crashing on Penis 2. I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry to hear Penis 2 is uh, crashing. That's what I heard, Dranko. That is what I heard. God, how are we doing here? We are doing good. Bang. Luckily, I think the split's actually supposed to be right when this ends, so it's kind of nice. One. Well, I ran out of health, but I ran out of bullets, that's fine. Throw the gun! You know, all guns naturally explode. That's just how it happens. I can do this? Thank you, Damon. Honestly, if I just pass this one part and then I don't die on Day of the Dead, we have so much time save. And just kind of the nature of this game's run. Most of it sucks around the mid-game. Uh, but once you get to the late game, it's so easy. Like, is it weird that the final entire boss section's easier than the mid-game? There we go. Welcome back, Superdose. Uh, Fuck. Why are the heads like that? Avium, we turned on giraffe mode. Uh, Fuck me. Uh, God damn it, motherfucker. Why can't you just hold on to the goddamn thing? Yep. You know, maybe I should have just taken the one run and be happy with that. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one more attempt before I cry myself to sleep. <laughs> oh boy. Like, maybe, maybe this is the thing making me not want to submit this. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, though, Avium. Hope you're doing good. Well, hey, at least I got the proper fight that time. Humorous is my weakness. I think his weakness is shitty games. I hope you're doing okay at the hospital. Wishing you all the best. Where the hell are we? Oh my god, they're back there. How did you spawn back there? Can, can you Can you come back? That has. Okay. I'm giving this one more good college try. Uh, correct. You need to kill every single enemy in the game, or else the crows won't tell you where to go, and you can't actually go into loading zones. Also, I like how every time you exit the screen, it does this load. It's kind of amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Bang. We are. We are him all. We are. I said we're going hard today. Tomorrow's gonna be a little bit easier. We're doing a casual game. Like tomorrow's game's gonna be I have no mouth and must scream. I've never played it, so uh, it should be fun. Oh wait, you're over here. What? Okay. Um, it can definitely cause a crash. I know that much. What's wrong with my neck? We turned on giraffe mode. On your that's what's wrong with the neck. Alright, last try for this one. Get out of here, gun. Okay. Fuck yeah, we did it. Badass. Cool. We did it. Yeah, it did, yeah. See, whenever you threaten the game that you're gonna quit, you finally fucking get it. I'm gonna go to bed if I don't get it. And you know what happened? I fucking got it. I'm sad. So that's why that's one of the toughest parts of this game. Chad, I put out all the stops just for you. So you can keep hearing bruh. 
ASMR is just hearing bra. And now you get to see the ninjutsu death bitch. I'm here wondering, isn't it gonna be faster to find the people and try to kill them? No. It's much okay, fuck off. It's much safer for me just to uh, use the use the kicks. Staff! Say I have my pimp cane. He also has a pimp cane. Come here. I have too much neck and muscle cream. Yeah, well, uh, whenever you throw a gun anywhere, it blows up. That's just the way guns work in this game. They just blow up. I'm gonna use throwables. Fuck, I whiffed that. Well, all reliable is back in action. Okay, we got it. I think that's the boss now. Yep. It would be funny, Mr. Glyphu. It would be. Alright, time for the ninjutsu death bitch. She has a magic trick. She can become invisible. There she is. Pleasure in pain. So here's the strategy as always. Don't worry, I don't have to know where I'm kicking if I can just roundhouse. This is all you need to do on every fight in the game. Yup, and the oh, console's on PlayStation 1. There we go, now we're cooking. We're gonna chip her down. It also came out on the Saturn. This is the fight. Correct. This is the safest strat I have for this. I think she's supposed to be invisible. She's not dead yet, but we knocked her down. We can also stomp on her. I can't really see we're giving her a CBT, because that doesn't really work that way. Wow, she is eating these kicks now. There we go, and then her body ragdolls like hell. There's the ninjutsu death bitch. She's now dead. She's more like the... Ninjutsu dead <laughs> He's <laughs> the fall. <laughs> How's it going, Polar Place? <laughs> okay, this is the worst level in the game. This is Day of the Dead. <laughs> Day of the Dead's fucking terrible. Uh, the reason why is because there's going to be three sections that are all terrible, and if I die at all, I have to go back here. See, I'm, I'm glad that you enjoyed that one, right? <laughs> Also, machine guns are always going to be better, so we're going to use those. And then the strategy, wait for them to get up close to you, and then fire. I whiffed it. There we go. The mask, because masks are very important. By the way, you may notice I'm throwing guns every now and again. The reason why is because they can pick up my guns. So they pick up my guns, I'm kind of in an uphill battle against gun. Please get in range. Thank you. What's it the next? Gara, we turned on giraffe mode. So giraffe mode has been initiated. And that is why they have long necks. Wow, I actually got the double on that. Badass. Day of the Dead is the worst level for this reason. The gun blows up if you throw it again. I'm gonna try saving another weapon for another time. Oh wait, hold on. 
And that's gonna be the next weapon in the corner. I want to save for the end of the section because I want to take it with me for the next few. Because the next few get really easy if I have the right weapon. And ideally, that's what you want. All the time saved, by the way, is yes, based on, uh, did you get the gun? I agree, puppers. I agree. Shit, he took... Well, he killed his own friend. Time to die. All right, dead. Good job. He does, and now I'm gonna have a rocket launcher. Dead in road, not heard of it. Check this out. Are you wondering, what can we do with this? Boom. It's like fucking the tyrant in Resident Evil. God, no! Single-handed? She broke it. I mean, I broke it, but still. Either way... It's really funny that I'm really bad at that one section, but I'm really good at this section now. Like, this is the hardest level in the game, by far. Like, getting here is such a pain in the ass. But we actually got here. We'll see... Uh, right now, I'm definitely enjoying this game, and it's uh, absolutely awful. Also, now we get Hey Clownface back, I think. Finally, gonna get our favorite guys back. Hey Clownface. There they are, see? They're back in action. Oh god, we're going for the chest bump. We'll see. One, two, a dank backflip. They had never expected it. Nor did I expect this camera angle. What the fuck is this angle? How am I winning this fight? Fuck it, I won. Somehow. Wow, that's where both of them spawned too. Nice. I'm kind of surprised that worked. Okay, this is the hardest part, I think. Uh, no, the next room is after it are. Here's the strategy. Duck. Shoot. The strategy is guns, but it's also luring them towards me so I can fire my gun. Thank you for the follow. Which is pretty funny, even that you just duck and then they won't shoot you. They'll, they'll become interested in you. Just go, well, I guess he's right there. May also go for the punch. And to think, aiming down would have saved this whole game for them. I need to do a backflip. Yeah, look at that. I need a different camera angle, please. That's an angle. Please die. Get your long neck out of here. Give me this gun. Okay, now we're inside. Literally all of my time save is right here. How's it going, Exima? I'm glad you're enjoying this. Take the pain. Ah, fuck it, this works. Dead. Alright, come on, target me. Dude, get out of the way from the box. Time to die. Alright, come here. Walk into me. We're gonna squat. I'm just gonna shoot. Thank you for the follow. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. Crouching neck. Hidden shotgun. Yes, that is the exact fighting style that we're using here. The old crouching neck. You just gotta exist him to death with your longer neck. Like the, how giraffes fight. I'm glad you're feeling better. Are they in BDSM clothes? They are, because we're in the Peepo Club or something like that. Bob, you so Shit. Don't knock me down, please. God damn it, they knocked me down. Uh. 
Bobby. Dude, it is so hard to see right now. The worst part of this game is trying to see. <laughs> Please get out of the way. I need you in a better spot. I'm doing okay. Okay, he's dead. Get eye out of the corner. I got the mask. Oh my god, I actually got the mask too. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Alright, please die. One, two. You didn't drop a mask. I need you to drop more mask. Son, drop a mask. I'm gonna kick you to death unless you drop one. This is why giraffe mode is great. By the way, giraffe mode probably only hurts the game. Uh, I definitely know it can ruin the game's, uh, like, it can crash at some point. However, for the main speedrun, in most cases, you're probably fine using it. Like, you just have to make sure you re-adjust to normal, um, on the level that requires it. Two. Please die, oh my god. Stop kicking me. Thank you. Can you drop health, though? No, you can't. All right, there we go. Now we're dancing. This is dancing. You did, Texan. You did. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Beautiful action. Oh my god. He wants it from behind. I'll give him what he wants. Swift kick to the face. Boom. And a mask. Thank you. Well, yeah, they need to. As the only washer. I think that's the fight, by the way. Oh, I saw. It's done by a thousand of Draculas. I actually own the, another variant of that tea, so I might buy it. Here's the boss fight, by the way. Oh, yeah? This is Nemo. Alright, time to step on his dick. Bonk. Well, it is called, like, in it's like the Peepo Club or something like that. It's something stupid. Avon, you're also missing all the dick kicking that we're doing. It's great. And the face kicks. See, look. CBT. Even in this game. I'm not trying to make CBT a theme in every game we play. It just so happens to be one of the greatest strats in these games, though. Oh, here we go. We got the pocket. We got the pocket. Oh my god. Right. Boom. Imagine slowly walking up to someone just to kick them in the dick. Like, just stomp. Bomp. I'm glad that CBT is a theme throughout all these games. Oh yeah. Also, they can stomp you back, so don't worry. It's not a one-way street. It's not just us stomping theirs. Oh, wait, my spine! What? That didn't do any damage. What the fuck? I don't know why they don't let you run during boss fights, by the way. It just so happens to be a stylish choice, I suppose. Stomp. God, I fell. Why did you look up CBT? Life is better if you don't, believe me. And he's dead. Can I grab the mask, though? I did. Alright, I guess we just saved seven minutes. What's wrong with that? No, not cognitive behavioral therapy. It's cock and ball torture. You know what it was? It's either cognitive behavioral therapy or cock and ball torture. Depending on how you see it. I think it is bra, Mandalu. I think it actually is a straight up bra. Okay, we actually did the hardest level first try. We are Yami. We are indeed still going. God, I whiffed that. There we go. Let's go. God, he's trying to beat me with the gun. What the fuck? Alright, hold on. Right, hold on. Get back in kicking range. Wait. God! My gun! God, he kicked me. What, clown face and guns? Apparently. I got the help off that. I don't, I'm surprised I did. God. 
Come here. There's a shotgun, by the way, that I really should be using, but I haven't been. Alright, almost got him. Can you drop health? That's actually really weird, too, because the club is actually a really easy level in comparison to Day of the Dead. The problem with Day of the Dead is it's so fucking long. This level actually gives you kind of more to work with, though. And also, most of the enemies in this level tend to be melee, so that's kind of why it's easier. Hey, have you never seen this game? This game is amazing. Time to die. God, I can't believe they snuck up on me like that with that neck. Boom. No sneaking up on the crow. I have no idea what these tubes are supposed to be. You would think. Alright, let's fight. You have a bat? I have a gun. Check it out. Gun. Why is there a band named Cock and Ball Torture? Oh, I ran out of gun. Alright, gun. Gotta say goodbye now. I just... In fairness, it's the greatest solution for removing a gun that I've ever- Oh, he threw a knife at me! What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna throw a bat at his ass. Oh, I guess- No, I'm right, throwing another knife. Doubling back around. Well, sure, we talk about CBT, but it doesn't make sense for there to be a band named CBT. Fuck it. Got it, missed. This is why we don't use weapons. Oh, we're not done yet? What? Who's left? You're left. Alright, time to die. Come here. You're wasting your breath, Angelito. It's not a Freudian slip. Like, it's not my fault all these games have the best strategy, which is kicking someone in the dick. Horror games just kind of have a weird taste of dick hits being the strongest thing. And I suppose it makes sense that someone's weak point is their dick, but still... Alright, time to fight these two. The Ska Band is back. Oh, good camera angle. There we go. God. Oh, here we go. There. You say he wants dicks? You know he might have. They might have. I'm glad you enjoy a Hell Cruise. God, look at that neck. Why doesn't his hair get the weird mullet that we have? That's my question. Like, why doesn't he get the mullet? Why do we get the mullet? God, I dare you to throw another bottle at me. You will never play in your real big fish cover band ever again. You've been demoted to the mighty, mighty boss tones. Okay, he's dead. Let's get out of here. I think that's the boss fight now. We had to, Mandaloo. No, it's not yet. Sorry, I've done, I've done that a few times now. How did that all whiff? Luckily, I get the better gun, but still. God, he got me. There's a gun right here, though. God. That is- oh, I might die. I might actually die if I'm not careful. Good thing I ducked. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. We are Sky Star. We are. Don't die? I mean, guns are as effective on them as they are on us. Oh, it's a cheat code. It's a funny one. Okay, by the way, we're on club. God. I bet they are Polaris. I bet they are. Luckily, again, it's the, it's the feast and famine of this game. I lost a lot of time from dying there, by the way. That's really bad. I don't normally die there. You're kidding me. How did 
did you not get hit? I need it. Thank you. Am I supposed to stage EQ? If I can ever get a consistent run, yes. If not, no. As I kind of don't need to be the same consistently is the issue. Come here. Perfect. I guess it makes sense, but still, the mullet's a fucking powerful thing. Why do we get the super mullet? I hope you're enjoying this run, by the way. I've been going for fucking 12 hours because of the crow. Oh, you're here. Killer. This is this a bonus game? No, the bonus game can still happen, by the way. But that's for a lot of subs. Now, at this point, I'm kind of tired, so I don't really want to push it. That's why I haven't really mentioned it. It's like 43 subs for that. Or gifted subs, I should say. And then we'll do Sanhol the Arcade. I'm kind of fine just... Just sort of chilling. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Shit. Stop chest bumping him. Kick him. Kick him. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Oh yeah, there's certainly something. There's not a lot of games that truly have this kind of polish. Like nowadays, I've looked at some of these new games. They come out unreleased, unpolished. This game that crashes if you use a certain mode in it is absolutely filled with polish. Like this is one of the best games ever made. I really can't think of a better game than this game. My god. You gotta really love it. Please, please die. Thank you. Cool. We did. I really wish you could just run through all the levels, because that'd be funnier. A rest for me? Well, I want to be knocking out after this run. What's up right now? And they're saying just one fix? There we go. God, I love the chest bump. Alright, come here. I ducked it. It does, Sether. It really does. Also, this game even has better dick mods. You know what they say about long necks, chat? Long necks. Long shirts. This game has giraffe mode. It kind of already beats Cyberpunk. At least in my opinion. There we go. Long scarves? Exactly. Okay, this ain't that bad. I just have to make my way back. I can't believe I died there, of all places. You're going to get Cyberpunk? Perfect. Didn't see that coming. This is why you do not let the uh, the Uzi guys stand at all. You kill them instantly. I have done it. All right, I think that might be it. First try? Yeah, exactly, Damon. First try. No, not yet. Goddamn, still going. All right, come on. Q dispenser, it's called giraffe mode. All the best games have giraffe mode. Like I swung a sword? Fuck that. Roundhouse is better than sword. That's all I need. Backwards flip and roundhouse. Alright, we should be able to go now. Please get in. Thank you. Okay, now I think that's a split. This is the hardest fight in the game if I'm not careful. Actually, I think I just crouch and that should work, right? Oh no, I need to fucking move. Sorry, sport. <laughs> oh, that works. I'm in range. Okay, uh, I'll take it. 
so the worst part about this boss fight is you need to corner him. Because uh, if you don't corner him, uh, he will fire grenades at you. Because he has a magic guitar that allows him to fire grenades. However, if you just get close and chest bump him to death, he will never be able to... Oh god, never mind. He will usually not be able to break out of it. So just keep chest bumping, you're good. God, this is like bro as hell, just bruh, bruh. <laughs> just imagine, imagine someone walking up to you with this neck and trying to chest bump you to death. If you're wondering, yes, this is the best way of doing this fight. If you do this fight alternatively, he will fire grenades out of his fucking guitar and kill you. You cannot let him do anything. You need to stay in this range. Why did you come in? Juo, this is giraffe mode. Do you not know about giraffe mode? God. He's dead. We did it. He's dead. Okay, so now if anyone's wondering, I actually need to turn off giraffe mode. He did. This is the one section of the game that will crash if you have giraffe mode on. I don't know why, it just does. Now hold on, uh... Cool, and then we're on tower, so... So yeah, my ruling for this game, I'm pretty sure, is that if you got to a level, you're allowed to checkpoint to that level. You're not allowed to checkpoint to a level, though, unless you got it. So getting it defines you spawning into a level like how I did in Tower. Alright, back to normal mode. You have to ask, is it any better in normal mode? It really isn't when you think about it. This is how it looks normally, which is going to look really jarring to some of you, because you've only seen this game with giraffes. So, the question chat. Better or worse? Better or worse without giraffe mode? It's something about that background that breaks the game. I'm not sure why, it's just something about that background, having it on, will just destroy the game and break it. God, I love these camera angles. Well, we'd keep the giraffe mode if I could, but they don't let me. You must worship. Try to grab me. Kicked her down. Luckily for us, I have gun. Worship. They also have gun, but luckily for me, I can do this. You must. Pop. See, easy peasy. So normal. They are weird. When you go to the normal next, it's really weird. God, remember when I had shit to do after the stream? By the way, that I said I wanted to do, and then I never got around to it because I streamed for fucking twelve hours. Me too, man. Please die. Dead. Wow, he wasted my bullet. God damn. We're gonna blow him up. Stuff is overrated. I have to do stuff. There's things I have to do. I just have to cut a VOD for GDQ, our highlight. Because I need to make sure I can actually do my incentive that I have submitted. Okay. Headbutts. Almost done. Almost done. Please die. Boom! Thank you for the follow. There we go. I can just run down. Judah. What's the incentive? Uh, during the mummy run I'm doing, it is a boss fight that is essentially mummy Pac-Man. And it is as terrible as it sounds. Believe you me, it is awful. God. Oh yeah. I showcased it earlier during uh, the stream, but uh... 
Also, I think I picked this up. Yep, grenade launcher. One. Worship. Two. They're dead. They're no longer coming back. They're dead. <laughs> hey, Ellie, how's it going? Yeah, yeah, I'll be submitting that one. Good fight. You must worship. The grenade launcher is a really good weapon if we get the hang of it. We don't always get the hang of it, though, unfortunately. But if you do get it, look at it. It just blows him right on up. And also, he keeps climbing the ladder, even above the ladder model. I hear that, Ellie's. I hear that. Oh god, no. Well, they're all dead very quickly, so that's the important part. Shit. Cool. Just keep kicking. Yeah, the rocket will home in on them. Like that. God, don't kick me like that, please. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. Judah, Judah. I didn't die. Having rocket guys next to us is really bad. Because I can definitely... I need them to beat me. I can't have them shoot me. Because they can genuinely one-shot me if I don't keep them close. And I gotta be careful. Give me the mask. Thank you. I think that should be it. Bad ass. Bad ass. So if I die, it's okay. Um, I can go straight to the final boss with this. So let's be careful. Nothing can save you. Here's the final boss, by the way. Phase one. There's two phases. I might die. I'm gonna reload for safety. I'm gonna reload for safety. Take it easy, Omnis Drones. Take it easy. Okay, we're on Borderland. Uh... Badass. What a terrible game, and they mean wonderful game. So if you're wondering why did I use a continue instead of actually just doing it there, um, well, the bodies explode. Nothing can save you. So if the bodies are too close to you, they'll explode. And I guess it's not entirely wrong, Avium. This game is definitely terrible. It has amazing kicking. Look at this. This is the f the first part of the two-part boss fight, by the way. Roadhouse, you're not wrong. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Eck, aren't you supposed to, like, do something with the guy in the back? Nope. You just kill his goons. Honestly, this is practically a Joker game. I gotta be careful. There we go. That's fine. God, I do not want them on the floor. I know we can do the CBT on them, but CBT is not worth it. Alright, not too much damage, that's fine. Alright, perfect. This is the kick we want. Good zoning, good timing. Just keep going. Then he just blows up. What is the plot of this game? 
Uh, an LA drug ring murdered your son, and you're trying and you, and you're trying to get revenge with the spirit of the crow. Time for the final boss, by the way. I don't want to take a wild guess what we're going to do. I'll give you a hint. You know it. Nothing can save you. Also, this fucker fires grenades. CBT, if he gets close. However, it's more the roundhouse. Shit. Here we go, we're back in act. All right, now we're cooking. Keep going, just, just this. God, no. Please stop, game. I have taken too much damage for this. Nothing can save you. Got him, CBT. Kick him in the dick. Kick him in the dick, please. No, I didn't do it. Shit. No, he stopped us in the dick. Correct, Holly. There we go. Oh, this is the momentum. We oh God, it wasn't momentum. God, not. All right, he no, he did the dick jump. I literally can't see him. Stop, kid. Stop doing. Stop it. God, I like how I flew from that. Okay, oh my god. I think there is a finale to one. Let me make sure I can actually do this. Um... There we go, cool, there is a finale checkpoint. <laughs> Thank god this checkpoint exists. This is the only boss in the game that has a checkpoint, by the way. How am I still awake? Sheer fuel, Greeny, sheer fuel. Nothing to save you. It's all about that CBT, Greeny. Take care of myself? I am. I'm going to bed right after I finish the stream. I, have your power. I said I was going longer today. Oddly enough, I actually do weirdly enough go to bed shortly after this time, so it's not that bad. God, do not stomp my dick like that, please. Why am I frame? Why, all right, I had a weird frame drop. That's fine. Oh, here we go. We got. Oh no, I thought I had the pocket. Oh God, why am I frame dropping? Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Why am I frame dropping? That's weird. I. Someone's downloading something. It's not me. I hope it'll be fun. Yeah, what the fuck? This is really weird. Me and I rather don't share an internet. Yeah, I'm seeing frames massively drop. God, frames drop right now, I'll be annoyed. Yeah, I see it just frozen. God damn it. No, I know it's not you, chat. Might be my mom. I don't know if she's awake, though. God. Well, there you go. We're almost done, though, at the very least. We're almost done. Almost done. Yeah, it looks like it's settled. That's good. Almost done. Yeah, it took me a little... Wait, that's it. He's dead. We did it. Okay, 124.16. Not bad. God damn. Download something? No, it's bad. I can sleep now after doing my goodbyes. And also, more importantly, chat, after you like my tweet. Alright, if you want to be in the tweet, type words of some sort. Pick your favorite words. I believe in a place where restless souls wander. So. Burdened by sadness, they can't enter heaven. So they wait. Trapped between our world and the next. 
There we go. I'm gonna post it on Twitter. Life of Ferret! Thank you for the elite bits. The elite number of bits. Enjoy the pog emote, and thank you very much. Also, 